This is a video demonstrating robotic sub xiphoid and subcostal anatomy and dissection in a case of multiple recurrent abdominal border hernias. I am Dr. Ganesh Shanai from Kaveri Hospitals Electronic City, Bangalore. She was a 66 year old lady with BMI of 48.5 with past history of undergoing open appendectomy, hysterectomy, open incisional hernia mesh repair and laparoscopic cholecystectomy. This is our preoperative video. She had a sub xiphoid and right leg fossa and a giant suprapubic recurrent incisional hernia. The challenges faced here was a morbidly obese patient with multiple comorbid conditions, hernias at different locations, recurrent hernias and a giant suprapubic ventral hernia. She was placed supine with both arms stuck, all the hernial sites and the scars sites were marked. A primary port was placed 3 cm above the umbilicus and just medial to the marked linear simulonaries. Left retroactive space was created by using a 30 degree telescope. These are the three robot ports. The patient was kept 30 degree head and down. We have used a fenestrated bipolar and a scissor. You can note the direction of the camera here, the scissors as well as the bipolar fenestrated grasper. After that, the robot was docked. The left posterior rectus sheath was divided 5 mm from its junction to linea alba using a monopolar scissor. The downward traction was provided by the fenestrated bipolar grasper. Now the dissection is carried out more on the roof to dissect the preperitoneal space. After defining the preperitoneal space, the right posterior rectus sheath was incised 5 mm from the junction to linea alba to define the right rectus muscle. The right retroactive space was dissected. The contents of the sub hernia were reduced meticulously. Hemostasis was maintained. The contents were completely reduced. After the reduction of content, you can see the anatomy here. We proceeded with left sided upper tar after marking parallel to the left costal margin. The left transverse abdominal muscle was divided using monopolar scissors. That is the yellow watershed zone between the costal fibers of the diaphragm and the transverse abdominal muscle at the 12th rib. Now we proceeded with a right sided upper tar. The posterior lamina of the internal oblique was incised. Then the transverse abdominal muscle was divided using monopolar scissors. You can see that we have entered the pre-transversalis plane staying close to the muscle. Those are the costal fibers of the diaphragm. You can see the neurovascular bundles and the rectus muscles on the upper compartment. Then the diaphragm and the cut edges of the transverse abdominal muscle. That's the defect. The rectus muscle on the roof the transverse abdominal muscle, neurovascular bundles. That is the wrong plane to enter. Staying close to the muscle and the pre transversalis plane is the right plane. That is the costal fibers of the diaphragm and the yellow watershed zone at the 12th rib at the junction of 
costal fibers of the diaphragm and the transverse abdominal muscles. Whenever you see the diaphragmatic muscles, the trick here is to stay closer to the diaphragmatic muscle. Those are the sternal fibers of the diaphragm. Those are the costal fibers of the diaphragm. There is a gap between the sternal fibers of the diaphragm and the costal fibers of the diaphragm that is the morgagnic space. That is the sub pad of fat which is a very important landmark while carrying out sub dissection. That is the plane of dissection behind the xiphoid. That is the morganic space which is the no enter zone. If you enter the space, the chance of creating an hydrogenic morganic hernia. That is a very important landmark between the sternal fibers of the diaphragm and the costal fibers of the diaphragm. As I have told earlier, trick here is to dissect on the floor. No muzzle should be on the floor. So staying close to the muzzles is the trick. Follow the muzzle and then carry out a sub dissection. In this way, when you start following the sternal fibers of the diaphragm, you will see the central tendon of the diaphragm. You can appreciate the center tendon of the diaphragm there. That is the complete anatomy. This anatomy has to be fixed in the mind whenever we are doing a sub or a subcostal dissection. We need to know the anatomy of the diaphragm, the sternal and the costal fibers of the diaphragm, the morganic space and the yellow watershed zone. Once that is defined, the PRS on right and the left side are incised further using monopolar scissors. to enter the peritoneal cavity and 5 mm accessory or assist port is placed in the right retroactor space. Right sided tar is continued in the lower end the peritoneum is bit lax but because of the previous scars, it was densely adherent to the transverse abdominal muscle. Right sided complete tar was performed. That is the scar of the previous appendectomy. You can appreciate the appendectomy scar site hernia. Dissection is further carried out to get a margin of at least 8 cm below the appendectomy inferior border of the appendectomy scar for adequate mesh coverage. That is the suprapubic hernia. You can see the previous mesh which was placed. The contents were omentum and terminal ileal loops. The ileal loops were adherent to the sac which was reduced meticulously without causing entrotomy. Here we have performed the dissection by a laparoscopic approach to see the space of red gears. as the bladder was densely adherent there. The bladder was distended with normal saline and methylene blue and we found robotic approach in your initial learning curve might be dangerous. So we shifted to laparoscopic approach when the bladder was densely adherent to the previous car. The posterior rectus sheet peritoneal complex was approximated without tension using a 2-0 barb suture. So we have performed a right sided complete tar here and a left sided upper tar. After the posterior rectus sheet was closed. We close the defect by using a number one PBT 
the Dini Alba was reconstructed and we could achieve complete posterior sheath peritoneal complex reconstruction and the anterior re- reconstruction which are both tension free then a 13 to 28 28 cm medium weight polypropylene mesh was placed inferiorly we have fixed it to the coopers by tackers we have placed drains in the retractor space this is my team at kaveri hospitals electronic city bangalore thank you all for watching